Hello Floss Tube and welcome back to my channel. My name is Angela and this is Floss Tube number 30. Um, I cannot believe where the time has gone. I think it's been a good couple of weeks since um, I last posted a video, so I do apologise. Um, but I've just been busy working and stitching, as you will see from the projects um, that I show you today. Uh, here in the UK, it is meant to be rather hot today. It's meant to be the hottest day in March today since 1968, would you believe? Um, and looking outside at the weather, um, it looks like it has the potential to get warmer later. Uh, not quite there with the temperature yet because I went out earlier and it was a bit chilly so hopefully uh, the warmer weather is coming wouldn't that be nice to um, sit outside do a bit of stitching um, but yeah so I hope everybody is keeping safe and well and as I say I've been doing lots and lots of stitching I shared in my last couple of videos that I have been doing something called March Madness which this is my actually I won't show you my grid just yet um, this is my grid uh, or I made a grid I should say and basically what it is you I had eight projects all of my eight heaven and earth designs they each had two days each and depending on which ones had the most stitches done they then moved on to the next level and then depending on which ones out of those had the most stitches done moved on to the next level and so on so we are coming to the end of March Madness I've absolutely loved working on all of my heaven and earth projects and you may be surprised at who the winner is um, for these last three days of March that I am focusing on. But I'm really pleased that it's this project so I can give it a bit of extra love. So I will share that with you as I go through. So as I say, I've worked on quite a few projects. And the first one that I've worked on is Mini Virus Detected by Randall Spangler. So that's what it will look like and if I do have any before pictures then I will be posting those as well on all of my projects well here it is so this is stitched on 20 count two over one and I worked on it for two hours and I did 309 stitches and I think I did a bit more here um, sort of in the under part like his chin I guess that's the bit there um, but yeah coming along really well I'm gonna be making this a focus piece in April and I'll be talking to you a little bit about my April plans as I get into the video so this is now at 16.03 percent completed um, and I can't wait to hit that 25 percent mark that quarter of the project done but yeah just really excited about how this is coming out really so that is that one. The next project that I've worked on was Mini the Mountain Cabin by Dominic Davison. And this one, I just wouldn't, how lovely would it be to be there right now, by the way, in that cabin on by the mountain. Um, anyway, so this is like I say, by Dominic Davison. I'm stitching this on 18 count, two over one. And this is the whole thing. Hopefully you can see that. Um, as you can see, these, these pieces are not iron. They're just literally, literally just come out of the Q-snap. But I've done a bit more up in this sky. So I worked the pink bit here and also the blue bit. So these two bits here. I worked on these bits because I really want to go across to the end. And then what I'll do is I'll fill it in, fill the top in from the end and just kind of work down. Um, I started over here to fill in the tree. So I'll carry that on a bit more when I work on it next as well. So that's really the direction of how I'm going with that one. Just literally picking colour and working with it. I did start the very first colour by colour completing, but I realised actually that really wasn't um, the way for me to do a heaven and earth project but yeah it does look a bit strange at the moment because of how the colors are but i'm really enjoying this one i don't know why i say that actually because i enjoy all of my projects so that is the cabin mini mountain cabin 
and on that one I did six hours and 1,119 stitches and that's now 5.65%. So the next one I worked on was Mini Princess of the Sea by Donna Gelsinger and this one I did 2 hours and 598 stitches and this is where this one is at so this one is stitched on 25 count 2 over 1 tenth stitch there we go that's better 2 over 1 tenth stitch and I'll be honest, I had a new revelation about this project. So I was stitching away, um, I think I was stitching in white. Yeah, I was stitching in white, sort of down in this bit down here. Um, oh, I think that's a bit of a loose thread, I just need to cut it off. Um, yeah, stitching in white down here. I don't know what made me look. But I looked to see how many more stitches I had left to go and I think I'd only done about 5,000 stitches which meant I had 74,000 odd stitches left to go and I sat there and asked myself do I want to do 74,000 more stitches in 10th stitch on 25 count and I sat there and thought no I don't so I literally um, finished that thread, or not, well, I, didn't, I didn't, didn't do any more stitching, just literally finished the thread on the back and literally, as soon as I'd done that, ordered some new material to start this project again. My new revelation is I don't like 25 count and if I'm honest, I don't really like 10 stitch. <laughs> um, this piece of material has had about four different projects on it and oh, holding it up the wrong way this put this piece of material has had about four projects on it to for me to try and find the way in which i like stitching on 25 count and if i'm honest i just don't really like it so i thought it's better just restart it when i've done about 5,000 stitches and restart it when i done half or more um i just yeah just couldn't see myself finishing it and i think the fact that i had to ask myself that question the answer was straight away no so here it is so here's my material, um, that's it, top left. So that's ready to go. And that is gonna be restarted. This is my material, I've surged it already. Um, this is gonna be restarted on 25, uh, sorry, on 25 count, on 20 count, I should say, full cross, um, two strands, and yeah, this is definitely my comfort zone 20 count. I think if ever I'm going to start another Heaven and Earth design, it'll be on 20 count with a couple of exceptions. And the exceptions are I've, I'm going to be starting the Story Keep Life is an Open Book um, London. That's going to be on 18 count because I finished my Paris one on 18 count. Um, and I know loads of you are asking about my Paris one. You haven't seen it. So I will put the video link in here as to that one. Uh, showing you when I finished that and I'm also stitching the New York version on 18 count and because I want to frame them all together I'm going to do that one on 18 count and obviously I've got my cabin one on 18 count as well but otherwise I think I'll go with 20 count like I say my new revelation this week is I do not like 25 count simples I think yeah if you know you know and I think if you're unhappy with doing a project that size and for that much work you need to change it really so yeah I've got no issues at all about changing it or restarting it um, and I can't wait to get that restarted to so buy this time next week when I post my next video you will see a start to that one um, but I had got it up to 7.03% um, I think the one thing I'll miss about it not being on 25 count is the fact that doing it 10th stitch, it really did stitch up quite fast. So I think that's the only thing I'll probably miss, but otherwise, no, not for me. So the next one that I worked on was my temperature tree by Stitcher Mummy. And I will tag her this um, 
chart as well um because you can get this on stitching mummy's etsy shop she's got trees and typographies and all sorts of different designs um, recording the yearly temperature and this is where mine is at now still not quite caught up i because i worked on it for one hour um, but I've done a lot more of the leaves, so I need to do another branch because obviously April is coming and I've only got three branches, so I need to work a little bit more on that. So this week I am off from my day job. I've got a week off from my day job, so I'm not back until um, the day after Easter Monday. Um, I am working a couple of night shifts, but yeah, not too many. I'm not overdoing it. So I will have lots and lots of stitchy time. So I'm hoping to catch up with this one finally and also get some more branches in um, so that I've got somewhere to put my April leaves. So I really do need to catch up on March. In fact, I've probably got a whole month of March to catch up on, but I'll get that sorted. So this is stitched on 20 count, ice blue Ada. And I really like... Um, this colour blue and it even though some of the leaves are blue it still stands out so that's that one and then would you believe it the one that made it through to the end of March Madness is my world travel bookshelf this is the one this is my chart by the way just literally a scribble drawn on a piece of paper literally in pencil um, that was my chart so this is World Travel Bookshelf by Amy Stewart. This is my largest project um, at the moment. I have got new plans for 2022 to possibly get an even bigger project. But more about that um, as the year goes on, I think. Um, but yeah, this is my World Travel Bookshelf. And I just want to say a massive thank you to um, Darren at Dizzy Stitcher because he shared how he copes with all the material. He's doing some supersized projects. So go and check out his channel because his supersized projects are awesome. And he was sharing, he has like these magnetic uh, like clippy things because um, the material is really getting in the way. So I haven't got it completely sorted, but it's definitely a lot better. Um, but this is where I'm up to. This is one of those magnetic clippy things I was telling you about. So I am stitching this on the diagonal, and the reason why I'm stitching this on the diagonal is because there's so much confetti. You can see here, I don't even know what the... Is this called a waist knot when you finish your thread at the front? I don't know. If anybody can help me, that would be great. Um, but as you can see here, all of those threads at the front are majority, well, probably only one or two is because I ran out of thread. Most of them are, are finished because it was literally one or two stitches. So from about here, all of these colours were in this section here. There really aren't many colours so far in all of this. I haven't touched out of the sort of 90 odd colours that this project takes. Um, but I am absolutely loving this. I am just like almost obsessed with this project right now. It's like how many hours can I do in a day on this project? Um, so anyway, since I last saw you, I have done 14 and a half hours and I've done 1,270 stitches. But as I say, the reason, I know diagonal stitching is slower. But there were so many ninja stitches, like literally one colour for one or two, two stitches. And that's why I'm glad I'm doing it on the diagonal because it, I think it would just be a pain to try and go back and do those. Whereas by doing it on the diagonal, I literally do them and it's like a move on. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be stitching one shelf at a time. I've decided now I'm going to be doing, I'm just going to do one shelf at a time in the diagonal. Move these out of the way. These um, ribbons, by the way, were another idea from Needle Ninja about how to get your material all together. So um, yeah, thank you to both of you really. Uh, for helping with that but um, yeah so I finished this diagonal and now I've started on another one and I've literally just to show you the picture again I don't know if you can see there's a lady there uh, you might just be able to see her there's a lady there I think this bit is her arm 
So I've just started the lady there. Um, but yeah, so I'll be working on that one a little bit more uh, today. So that's all of my projects so far um, since I last saw you. So April then, um, I'm going, obviously I've spent pretty, pretty much all month doing my heaven and earth designs and with the exception of the temperature tree I've been working on that a little bit not much though not as much as I should have because um, I want to get back to doing something some of that um, each week so what I've decided for April is um, I'm just going to stitch on whatever I feel like because I have got an awful lot of non heaven and earth designs that I was working on and I want to get some of those finished and I'm hopefully, fingers crossed, going to get some of those finished in April. And I've also got one new start, if not two new starts happening, non-Heaven and Earth design. Um, so I will be sharing those with you as I start them. Um, and I can't wait really to just stitch on something a little bit different than my heaven and earth designs don't get me wrong i love my heaven and earth designs but like i said it'll be nice to stitch on something a bit different i'm also going to go back to the challenges in enchanted stitching challenges and well for their weekly and monthly challenges because as i've shared with you before they pick a disney film to to use as a theme to base weekly and monthly challenges on and and the film for april is lady and the tramp I love that film, so I'm going to enjoy doing the challenges, the weekly ones and the monthly ones, but because obviously um, I can use any kind of project with them, so it'll just, just be whatever I feel like working on, if it fits that prompt, or how I can fit it into that prompt, so yeah, looking forward to that, and then with the full coverage for Natics, I am going to focus on doing the literature challenge for the month, which is children's books, and I think it's about 8,000 stitches for the month. And that one, I'm going to do my mini virus detected. So my plan is to spend at least an hour a day working on that one. Um, I'm fortunate at the moment that my job is still, my, my day job is still working from home, so I can get that one hour in per day to stitch on that one. The other thing I want to do with my Well Travel bookshelf is get three rows of that done per day as well because each row is 20 stitches so I want to get 60 stitches done a day to meet my challenge of doing 21,000 stitches in 2021. So I am still a little bit behind, so hopefully over the next couple of days, finishing off March Madness, that will help catch up a little bit. And then, like I say, I want to do at least 60 stitches per day, so that's three rows per day. So I think those two, and then whatever else I feel like working on. Um, some days I might not get the hour done on mini virus detected. Other days I might. I'm hoping to do it on as many days as possible and like I say do the enchanted stitching challenges as well as the monthly challenges as well so a busy stitchy month coming I can't wait to share it all with you so thank you again for supporting me and my channel and watching and seeing my cross stitching journey if you are new to my channel and you've liked what you've seen today then please hit the subscribe button and as I say thank you to everybody who supported me so far by subscribing whether subscribing so far whether you've been with me from week one or you've joined me along the journey thank you so much it really does mean a lot so that being said guys I hope you have a great week stitching so take care bye for now